All right, so I want to do some bite tech today. I promised it in yesterday's video, but it was getting too long. So anyway, I want to look at the key things that I think why Continental sponsored riders were really the winners of yesterday. Uh, sorry, two days ago in Paris Bay. So this is Dylan Van Baal's bike. Now, what you'll notice is he's using GP5000 STRs, which are by far the quickest tires. So we've got we've got terrible Pirellis here. They're not quick. We've got uh probably Vittoria's and they are really slow we're gonna go to Wout Van Aert's bike because I want to show you some some stuff on his bike um unfortunately cycling tips is always or cycling I don't even know what website I'm on cycling news so these are Vittoria Dugast ones that uh Sunweb were using so I'm not going to comment on them because they don't have wrong reasons this is um basically a gravel bike here uh but it's got specialized tires on they're okay the tubeless ones they're not they're not great they're not bad. And I think the thing to we're going to have a look at is with tyre choice is how much is the cobbles the impact. So these are GP5000. These will be STR. So we'll, we'll get rid of my search. So we look down here. GP5000 STRs, basically the quickest tyres around except time trial tyres. Um, there's slight differences here. This is probably just mainly to do with the rolling, the drum. So these are all tested on a metal drum. So it will be slightly different on uh on your actual roads uh but nonetheless you can basically see these are quicker than time trial tires you know coarser speeds uh, even tubulars um so you know if we're looking sort of at the p pirelli p0 tt tires these are still two watts slower they look at what they're probably using maybe the sl version 10 watts so trek are sort of two watts down per tire so that's four watts it's not insignificant um, but the, the key thing we need to look at is Vittoria because Vittoria sponsored riders were using something that I, I could not believe. And it, it seemed to me unbelievable. Yes, this is correct. It's a course of control. And you might be like, well, Charlie, why would they not run, you know, something else? Why would they run a course of control? And the thing with the course of control it is it is so slow. So if we just type in Corsa, we'll see here that we got the course of speeds. We've got the course of race. Uh, these are all the sort of, you know, tubeless versions uh, from VeloFlex, which are actually not too bad. Then we go into the Vittoria courses. These things are slow. Like these things are like 12 watts. And so remember, GP5000s uh, were like eight and a bit watts. So this is four watts per tire, so eight watts slower. We're gonna keep on typing because this is unbelievable. So the tires they were using, now, unless I am wrong and they are using, you know, special tires that um you know that they, they say course of control but actually they're a mix between a course of speed with some puncture they're a third, almost 13 watts it's almost 10 watts slower and you might say okay fine it's 10 watts slower but you know, i like the one by good good plan it's 10 watts slower but it's fine because you know at the end of the day there's cobbles do you know how many cobbles there are in Paris bay it's 50 kilometers so the other remaining 200 kilometers, you're probably at around a 10 watt deficit to continental riders. I just can't believe it. I just honestly could not believe why they chose their tires. But to be honest, courses are just a bit rubbish in terms of speed. They're fine if you're on a time trial bike. The best tires for time trialing, no doubt about it. But if you're not on a time trial bike, they just don't have any puncture resistance. We're talking about SRAM next. Chain, two watts slower than Dura. So again, these boys uh, or and girls, to be fair, they're all on the same one for track. Um, they also got screwed over. They got the terrible Pirellis, which are like three, four watts slower, probably. And then they've got this chain, which is going to be two, three watts slower. So it's a rough day out for, for SRAM sponsored riders as well. And I think it goes to show that realistically, a lot of the things the World Tour people are running are just not optimal. Um, you know, why would you buy Pirelli tires? You wouldn't. Courses, the only argument is they've got good grip. I do agree, courses have nice grip. But I've never really had an issue with GP5000s either. Specialized bikes, they have to ride the Roubaix. I don't really know if there's much in it. Is that like, you think Sonny Cobrelli won on his normal road bike last year. I'm doubtful. I think if you can fit a fat enough tires on it, um, then, you know, that it's probably good enough. This is Matej Moric's bike. Yay, yeah, Rodanera bike. Yeah, it's got 32 mil tires, I'm pretty sure, on it. Probably at some low psi age. But even so, I think this this is the sort of thing you want to be riding, in my opinion. Super idle for the 200 kilometers of non-cobbles. Um, 50k of cobbles, yeah, okay, have super low tire pressure. But again, GP5000 tires, super quick. Um, and yeah, so I think that is the most dialed setup. No one can really convince me otherwise. I like the one by. I think, you know, if this was a, 
one by either um Terge used to they see put a mountain bike derailleur on and then had a uh, had like a chain catcher but i don't think that's the best because i think mountain bike derailleur will add extra friction i reckon you just want to run a sh standard shimano one with probably just a chain guide and run like a 56 or something and then just reckon that it should be okay because it is pretty flat um just for the aerodynamic savings it will be big um but yeah these are gp5000 str and i reckon there's just nothing better you can see more it's got integrated aero stem just fully really optimized and i think that's one of those things where if you're not sponsored by the right people like Wout Van Aert, it's just, it's just not good. Um, these are sort of some custom tires that Wout Van Aert was running, which is Vittoria Dugas ones. I don't really know what the deal is, but most of the other guys were on course controls. Um, and it's just a tough day out. I mean, don't get me started on Goodyear tires. Whoever's sponsored by them, they need to go have a big hard look at themselves because they are horrendous. Um, and then again, these are, these are Continental, uh, sorry, Vittoria's sponsored uh, team. And they'll be on the course controls again, you can see in the background um yeah it's just it's just chaos again but this is this is again Ineos bike super dialed got the gp5000 strs on it it's just full integrated bike none of the stupid suspension bollocks it's just their standard f12 oh f whatever it is now i don't know um but yeah it does the job anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video um this is my critical analysis of bike tech i think no one really gives you this um where it's just like what's quick what's not most of the people have to make compromises to the teams that don't are in a lucky situation.